2.7 meters on the wider. And then on this one, you've got three meters. Three meters and it's two. Three meters and eight percent. So we're now entering Spectrum Art Shop. And they're, they're the there in the corner we see Trish working with the client, one of the owners. And the other one that owns the shop is Tony. And behind the counter is one of the four employees. And uh, yes, this shop has just been uh, pre-selected to be uh, yeah best shop of Ireland, I think, by the Irish Times. Yes, very good. And it's uh, best specialist shop in Ireland. Best specialist shop in Ireland, uh, Trish. Yes. Okay, can you tell me uh, how long have you been here on this location in Wexford with this beautiful shop? Uh, thirty-one years uh, this October, and uh, it's great after thirty-one years to. To, to just her that we've been nominated in the best shops in Ireland, so I'm um, really pleased about that, really, really pleased. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, how would you describe what you have on offer here uh, in the shop? Well, we're an art shop with picture framing and, and a small gallery, but uh, I would say we're more than that, really. Um, it's a place that people generally come to because they see us as a specialist shop. And, uh, Lots of people will go to shops uh, looking for something and if the shop doesn't have it they'll always say well why don't you try Spectrum because I'm sure you'll get it there. So we pride ourselves really on, on, on trying to um, have what most people need and sometimes it's not about what the item might cost. Uh, you get great joy when somebody comes in and, and they say to you things like, I don't think you're going to have this, but I'm looking for exactly. you know, a plastic needle. It might cost a, a euro or something like that, but they go out so pleased that they've actually got an item that they really didn't think. So I suppose one of the things we do is we try and source things that are not available. Shall we walk a little bit this way? Uh, but, um, uh, Tony uh, called this shop a dedicated art shop. What exactly does yes. that mean? Well, because we... Um, deal with artists, both professional and also the amateur. Uh, and we pride ourselves on having a, a good knowledge. Um, my knowledge is pretty good in theory. Mm -hmm. um, Tony has very good practical knowledge. And uh, most things that people will ask, we can answer. Um, dedicated art shop as well, in as much as uh, we don't just take the item from the customer at the counter and pop it into a bag. Uh, you might have a customer coming with a, a particular brush and a particular paint and I'll always say to them, uh, excuse me, is that brush for this particular paint? And they may say yes. And I'll say to them, well actually, it's not going to work for you. Exactly, so because you are a painter yourself, just yeah, as Tony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I never, you know, they may say, well no, actually the brush is for watercolour and these are oil paints. But often a, a customer will come in and they don't like to ask and they'll rummage around, they'll pick up. Um, and we, we, we like to, to, to be able to say to them, well, that's not going to work for you, and then go through with them uh, what will work. Exactly, Trish. You were talking about brushes, eh? Now, yeah, now yeah. we go to the brushes. Yes, I, uh, 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 yeah, what can you tell about this? Because Tony tells something interesting about uh, some English brands. Yes, rosemary uh, brushes, um, which is... Um, uh, sort of a small niche um, uh, brush company and we are uh, very lucky that uh, rosemary uh, brushes are generally available just uh, online uh, but she agreed to after much persuasion she has agreed to supply the brushes to us so we're the only supplier in Ireland of oh, really? brushes okay. and we sell them out at the same price as she does on the internet uh, but um, and even though we don't offer a discount because our margin wouldn't be great uh, the customer does save on the fact that um, they don't have to pay the postage. Exactly. So the, the, the hair is both synthetic and natural. Yes. Is that right? That's right. Uh, we have uh, Pure Mongoose, which is this one here, which is a soft brush for uh, oil paint. And then we also have um, a synthetic Mongoose, which is really, really popular. And then in the... And these are suitable for oil. Uh, then we have an acrylic range. And the thing with an acrylic brush is... Um, acrylic dries very fast, so it's very important that um, if the paint is left on the brush for any length of time, that when you put it into the water that it will release. 
So these are a, like a coated brush so that the, the uh, paint will release easy. Um, generally uh, for oil painting it would be a hog brush and Rosemary has, I, I think, and I could be wrong, uh, I think the only synthetic hog which actually is more expensive than the hog but uh, holds its shape very well but has the same stiffness as, as a hog brush um, but well, you can get a finer tip and finer Okay, point. very so interesting. Very, very Another thing you want to show me maybe is this type of Indian natural paper or something yes, for we, to paint upon. This is also have, something quite um, special you have in this shop, eh? We have a very nice um, That's paper this one here, yeah. from a uh, company called Caddy Papers. And Caddy uh, is based in England, but it's handmade Indian paper that they uh, import. And we do it in all sizes. So we do it in A6, A5, A4, we do it in A3, and we also do it in large sheets. And we also do it in three gram weights. So you have 150 gram, which is useful uh, for card making. We have a 320 gram, which is a heavy weight. And then there's a 220 gram also. Uh, and then you can go right up to a 640 gram. It's almost like a cardboard. So, um, and Caddy are very good in that they have everything colour coded. So it's very easy to see what your, your, your gram weight is. And as I say, we also do it in large sheets. Um, it's not available in every art shop. And um, this uh, is well stocked at the moment because our stock is not long in. But already we, we're out of some of the sizes. Um, because people uh, identify us as having that product and they come specially for it. Which okay, is Trish, uh, now we're going to end this video because, uh, yeah, it's uh, already very interesting. The last thing I want to ask you is how would you describe the Wexford art scene? Are there many painters here who you have long-standing relations with? And, and Yes, as I say, 30, 31 years. Um, a lot of artists in town, a lot of classes going on in town. And uh, the great thing about having an art shop, I suppose it's a it's a two-way sword. If the art shop wasn't there, um, you know, the people couldn't have their uh, uh, art uh, classes because uh, they couldn't get product. And I remember before we opened here, um, having to travel as far as Clonmel or Dublin if I wanted paper. Um, now people don't have to travel, it's on their doorstep. Uh, but then we couldn't do what we do if we didn't have a, a, a very loyal uh, clientele. Uh, and in two weeks' time, uh, probably the busiest time of, of the year for us is when we have the Art in the Open, which is a plein air uh, painting festival. And at the moment there's about 120 people signed up for that. And they come from as far away as America, Germany, the Netherlands, Spain, France. Uh, and the lovely thing about that is they really, really uh, appreciate a good quality product. Michael Hardy. Okay, Trish, really this is a, this is a very nice note to end the video on. I wish you good business and a lot of more years in this beautiful shop in Wexford. Thank you very much.